Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about smartwatches. And uh, fun fact, I actually didn't really think I would need a smartwatch at any point because I always thought of them like uh, they are like a useless gadget. Like, what am I gonna do on them? Like, play Raid Shadow Legends? Get ready to raid. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by them or anyone else. I just wanted to talk about the smartwatch that I bought recently. It's called uh, Amaz Fit Pro. And this is what we are going to be taking a look at today. Well, later on I realized that uh, you actually can do quite a, quite a lot of stuff with uh, smartwatches. So I was like, I don't have anything to spend my money on. Why not buy a smartwatch? But at the same time, nah, man, Apple and all the other famous expensive brands like like, that ain't no way I'm giving that much money for a smartwatch, you know. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy this one. And this one is around $40, more or less, depending on where you buy it from. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna talk about what this watch has, all of its features and shenanigans. So let's get right into it. So starting with the build quality of the smartwatch, you can't expect so much out of it because after all it's kind of cheap. It's uh, completely plastic with a standard rubber band. It is completely waterproof, I have personally tested it, I have showered with it and yeah, submer submerging in water, it's not, it's not a big deal for this watch. Of course, I mean, after all, why would you buy it if, uh, if it's not waterproof? The screen is 1.43 inches. And the resolution is nothing spectacular, it's 320 by 302. But one fun fact is that it actually comes with Gorilla Glass 3. Yeah, Gorilla Glass 3. I have accidentally uh, smashed it into doors and walls while I'm walking and stuff like that, but it seems totally fine to me. Maybe a few small scratches here and there. The battery of the watch is 230 milliamp hours and it lasts around 9 days uh, on paper and in real life as well. I tested it, it re really actually lasts even 10 days sometimes, which is amazing guys, uh, compared to some of the higher end watches which you need to charge every 2-3 days. I think that's kind of perfect. Charging this little guy is super easy, there are 2 pins on the back, you just take the charger put it like that, it's a regular USB, charges in about 3 hours or so, fully, so yeah, no problems at all with that. It's super convenient and super easy. If you have a wireless charger that supports these kinds of uh, pin connections, you can probably use that uh, with it as well. Now let's talk a little bit about the interface. Unlike uh, some more pricier options, this watch actually doesn't have downloadable apps as options because it doesn't have any storage inside of it to to store any additional apps. It can only store up to four watch faces and you can download each of the watch faces uh, from your phone with a special app called Zip. This app is also used to uh, monitor your uh, sleep, uh, breathing and a bunch of other stuff which I'm going to show you in a bit. The cool thing is that also some of the faces are customizable so you can uh, decide how you want to use them. Not all of them are customizable of course, but most of them have some sort of unique feature that you can uh, change, like that. It's convenient. When it comes to how many features this watch has, uh, there are really quite a lot of features. So besides your ordinary step counting, uh, you also have you also have your heart rate monitoring, you have uh, oxygen uh, level monitoring, you have stress level monitoring. By the way, I don't know how how accurate this one is in specific because I mean, come on now, how can how can it be monitoring your stress levels? Anyway, I tried it a couple of times. Um, you have uh, your own system that tracks how much you move, which I'm not gonna go into because it's kind of complex. You have uh, your weather with all the crazy stuff with it, like wind, etc. You have um, a remote um, 
playlist when your phone is connected you can basically control it from here you can um, hook it up with Alexa as well it works perfectly fine with Alexa and it also monitors your sleeping uh, on the watch it's not uh, such a detailed information but when you open the Zep app it can show you all kinds of stuff which I will be showing you too as well in a bit and you can also set up your alarm of course so unfortunately this watch doesn't come with any speakers so you can't actually use it for phone calls even though it has a microphone uh, but you have the option to um, deny a call and to reply to a call with a specific message if you wish now here is where it gets interesting when you swipe up uh, down I mean when you swipe down uh, you will see all sorts of settings here you have the D&D mode which you can enable or disable and you can enable it also in smart mode which basically detects when you fall asleep and enables uh, do not disturb mode for you which is super convenient and I'm using it all the time instead of choosing my own hours so you will always be notified when you are not asleep about any notifications, calls, etc. There is also the alarm button here. I don't really use the alarm, but it's, it's up to you, it's your preference. There is uh, also the brightness control, which, you know, it can get quite bright. I'm just keeping the brightness a little bit lower because I don't, I don't really like it. To be as bright also it consumes more battery of course and then you have your settings which is from where you can choose a watch face you can check in your battery level even though every watch face almost has the battery level check you can uh, just plenty plenty things like when the screen is going to turn off uh, in how many seconds the lift upon wrist lift is really convenient as well you just raise your wrist, it automatically turns on, then turns off after 5 seconds or, or so. You just have to uh, go to here to track um, your steps, your uh, movement points, heart points, how many calories you burned, even though I'm not sure how accurate the calorie burning feature is. When you press uh, the button on the side of the watch, once you press it to, of course, light it up and another time so that you can see your app list. Your app list is where most of the fun is. You can uh, go to the workout section and choose any type of workout that you're doing and then just click on go. So you can track um, everything like that. You can track your calories, you can track the distance. It has multiple sports. It has plenty of information for you. So here you have the duration of your workouts, it shows you plenty of stuff, you can end it, you can pause it, you can see your playlist as well, of course, you can see a lot of information about your workouts, so this is pretty convenient. I'll just stop it for now. Yes, I'm sure I want to end it. I should also mention that this watch is extremely lightweight, you barely uh, even feel it on your hand, which is uh, a really big plus for me. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's kind of like the perfect size. Now let's go into the app and I'm going to show you all the other features of this watch which are only accessible unfortunately through the app. And here we are, let's jump right into the app, which is also with a permanent notification up uh, there in your status bar. You can see all kinds of different information here, like uh, for real, like everything is mentioned in, in such details. So I'm going to go uh, around with uh, most of the functions. Uh, we start with the sleep and the steps as well as the heart rate and PAI. The PAI is basically like their own tracking system of uh, how much movement you got, like uh, depending on the sport, uh, how much uh, did you run, stuff like that. And um, here also you have uh, multiple other tools, your calories burned, your blood, uh, blood oxygen, stress levels, sleep briefing quality it's as weird as this sounds yes it can also track your sleep briefing quality and uh, the thing that i was most in interested in from the beginning was the sleep 
because I I'm a night shift worker. I really don't uh, get regular sleep, and I want wanted to make sure that uh, I'm uh, getting it at least a little bit right, you know. So this tracks your overall sleep score and how much time you have slept, uh, the phases of deep and REM sleep, how, how many times you woke up, mm, your heart rate as well. So yes, every 30 minutes or so it uh, detects your heart rate and uh, saves it there. So after each uh, day you can also rate your sleep. Yeah, if you want that, <laughs> of course. There is a detailed statistic about everything, considering sleep as well. Uh, of course, as you can see, my score is a little bit low. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Uh, then you jump here to the health tab. There's like targets of steps of uh, everything here. You can uh, adjust it as you like. You can see all of your uh, Xiaomi devices. I have a smart scale too. And um, you can click on your watch here. You can adjust many of the settings of the watch. You can adjust uh, the watch faces. As I said, there's plenty of watch faces, like really, really a lot of watch faces which you can choose from. Some of them are uh, simple. Some of them are more complex. As I said before, some are adjustable. Some elements are adjustable in, in some of the faces, but unfortunately they don't really tell you which one is adjustable and which not. So you're going to have to figure that out on your own. Um, you can adjust the vibration for each app alert. And so that's about it. There are plenty of stuff to talk about here, but I'll just let you figure it out on your own. If you get this watch, of course. And as always, thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you in the next one.